What is up team? This box contains a six piston big brake kit from R1 Concepts. The kit is designed for a 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX. And if you're familiar with my car, you know that it's not 2004, it's a 95 with a bunch of parts from newer models. The kit you order depends on your hubs. So when you order your kit, that is the determining component. I will put a link in the description for their website. And now that I've said that, let's get to it. The box is a box within a box, which I like. It's another layer of protection and it helps with privacy. As I take the kit box out, you notice that it's upside down. And if you look back at the shipping label, I'm pretty sure that it was shipped that way. And you might say, Ryer, how come you didn't notice? Well, that's because I was looking at it from the top of the box and not the camera angle. However, it did not negatively affect anything. But since this is an unboxing video, I want to let you know why things are the way they are. So the first things up, these 330 millimeter rotors. These are two piece cross drilled and slotted rotors with aluminum hats. You can order slotted, drilled, or slotted and drilled rotors. For the hats, there is a relatively wide range of colors to choose from. I ordered this color to match my undercarriage theme of black and gold. This one in particular is called anodized gold. And as you continue to watch, you'll notice that there's plenty of foam and cardboard protecting everything in the kit. Digging deeper into the box, hey, we got the calipers. They are super cool visually and to the touch. These six piston units are pre-assembled. I chose the main color and the color of the logo. There is a logo on top of the caliper as well. The brake pads are already installed and cushioned with foam. The quality control is very high with this kit. I couldn't find a blemish on any of the painted or anodized parts. And as you can see, there are foam cutouts for the components. Next up are the steel braided lines. This bag contains the lines and line accessories, including brackets, line fasteners, and washers. Here you have the caliper bolts to mount the adapter and to mount the calipers. They even give you a bottle of thread locker for the install, so there's no need to dig into your stash or run to the parts store. Next are the adapter brackets. These are billet pieces with quality finish made specifically for your application. As you can see, everything is individually wrapped and treated with care. I noticed that there are things that look like marks or scratches in the video, but that's just dust and debris. Everything came unmarked and very well packaged. And last but not least is the instruction manual. It has a complete part breakdown, torque specs, the brake bedding procedure, and how to trim your dust shield if you have to. It also includes rotor information and instructions on how to change your pads. Almost everything has a picture and very clear instructions. The only thing that I didn't see was instructions on mounting the adapters to my specific application. And with that being said, I will release a detailed video on the installation process, weight comparisons, pretty pictures, and of course, track testing. So if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe for more motorsport, community, and fun related content because never stop learning is the goal and I'm taking as many people as possible on this journey of discovery. With that being said, stay tuned and thanks for watching.